In this video, I will be testing over 20 weird USB-C accessories for the all-new iPhone 15 Pro Max. These will range from simple accessories such as storage devices, MIDI controllers, 5K cameras, and even 4K USB-C monitors. So yo guys, let's get started. So I think I'm going to clear this table a bit and start with the storage device we have here. This is a T7 4TB Samsung device. I'm going to connect it to the iPhone 15 Pro Max and try to record video, which is going to be ProRes video into this SSD. So one thing to note is that the USB connector that comes with your iPhone is a USB 2.0 connector and you need a strong one such as this one here to be able to utilize the USB 3.2 Gen 2 speed you get from this device which is about 10 gigabits per second. So let's connect this here to the iPhone and get this device, the drive here, connect it up here. If you wish to record ProRes video which needs this fast SSD, you have to enable it from the top here. You can see that the recording will be recorded into the USB-C drive that is connected here. Now, when a drive is connected to your iPhone 15 Pro Max, you can access the files that are on this drive from the Files app on your iPhone. So let's get that done. Go into your app drawer and um, search for files. And from here, you'd notice the drive here named OMT72TB, which is this drive connected to the iPhone. And here are the files you can scroll through, delete, copy and do whatever you wish with the files on here. Another way to access files with your iPhone is to connect something like a dongle, connect it to your iPhone here and you can easily use any USB type A drive, flash drives and all that with your iPhone. For now, I want to read a card using this card reader, which I have here. This has a USB type A, so I'm going to connect it to this dongle as shown here. Connect this here and here you connect this into this card reader and go back into the files app from your iPhone. Yeah, the card just popped up here, so tap on it and you can see all the files that are within this um, card using the card reader. Um, so let's try to read um, an SSD which I used to record things into my Shogun and my Ninja 5. And um, this is another card reader which I have here. And this is meant for SATA drives and SSDs like this one. So I'm going to connect this here and um, still using the dongle here. I'll connect to this type A connector which um, goes into my iPhone. Let's see if this phone can, if the file app can actually read from this SSD. It isn't able to read from this drive, so that doesn't work with the iPhone. So this is a lightning to type C connector. I'm going to connect this one, lightning connector to my iPhone 14 Pro and I'm going to connect the type C into the 15 Pro Max and watch what happens. The iPhone 14 is being charged. So most devices with USB-C have power delivery and deliver power to any device connected to them. And so that's what's going on here. The 15 is charging the iPhone 14 Pro. That's been tested. This is my Apple Watch connector. I'm connecting the type C end into the iPhone 14 Pro. And um, let's see. Now let's play with the accessories such as um, a keyboard and a mouse. I'm going to connect this dongle from the mouse into this um, dongle for the iPhone or the Mac Pro. And let's see if this mouse is going to work with it. Now out of the box, a mouse wouldn't work on your iPhone 15 Pro Max. You have to go into your settings and search for accessibility Go to the touch section, tap on it, and enable assistive touch. Without this, the mouse isn't going to work with your iPhone. Now let's connect the keyboard and see how this plays out. I'm going to use my USB C to C connector. The keyboard I have here is a USB C um, keyboard to connect this here and have this connected to the iPhone. I'm going to open the Notes app and try to type in something using this keyboard. Notes, yep. Um, let's create a new note. This is the child of my brain. It actually does work. As you can see, the command key and the spacebar launches spotlight just like your MacBook and everything works as intended. So we're going to try the DualSense controller from the PS5 to see if it controls um, games on your iPhone 15 Pro Max using the same connector. I'm going to connect this into the controller. It should work actually. I'm going to launch Alpha 9 
to test this out. This already works. As you can see, this controls the game. And um, let me try to drift. Yeah, it works. Drift works. Yep. And yeah, you can game using your USB-C powered um, controller on your iPhone. The next gadget I want to test out here will be my GoPro Hero 11, which is this one here. Let's see what happens when you connect this to your iPhone. I hope this turns into like a webcam. So I can use this for say FaceTime, just like you can use webcams with um, your iPad. Let's check if this is gonna work with the iPhone. So I'm connecting this to the USB-C port on this gadget. And let's connect it to the iPhone. And um, I'm gonna launch FaceTime right here and try to see if it text this as a camera. Nothing. So you can't use a GoPro as a webcam on your iPhone. It doesn't work. Let's try to connect a 4K camera, the a 7 IV from Sony to the iPhone. So this is the camera, it's a little bit rigged. Because this camera can send video feed over USB and you can use it as a webcam, I'm gonna connect this camera to the smartphone using this USB-C to C cable. And let's see if this um, actually would work. And just like before, I would launch FaceTime to see if it detects this as a webcam. And the option I have here is to turn this on for live streaming. So yep, select that. And okay. And it doesn't detect the camera, so cameras don't work with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. The fact that you have USB-C on a smartphone like this means that you can plug in a lot of accessories to your iPhone. So I'm going to test out um, an Ethernet connection on this iPhone. So for you to be able to connect RJ45 into your iPhone, you need something like a converter, something that converts um, USB-C into this. I thought this dongle had it, but I'd have to use um, this one here. This is a Thunderbolt to 10 gigabit converter. So let's see if this is going to be picked up by the iPhone. So I'm connecting this here and um, let's get the party started. Cannot use Thunderbolt accessory. Thunderbolt accessories are not supported on this iPhone. So you can't use Thunderbolt accessories on the iPhone 15 Pro. Wow. But if you have a regular one gigabit um, connection or converter, that should work with your iPhone. So next up, I'm gonna connect this Holy Land um, microphone. It has two transmitters and a receiver. And this receiver has a USB-C connection. So I'm gonna connect USB-C from this receiver to the USB-C port on the iPhone. And I'm gonna to speak to this mic and try to see if it records the audio on the iPhone. So, yep. Let's try to see if um, signals are being sent. Sound check. Okay, the receiver received the signal. Wear this and try to record. Hello, sound check. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, sound check. One, two, one, two, one, two. It actually does work. Sounds clearer than the microphone on the iPhone. So, this works. So, let's head over to display devices. I'm going to start with this monitor here. This is a 4K monitor that has a USB C connection. So, I'm going to send signals from the iPhone using this USB C connector over to this 4K. Um, monitor. Let's get to see what's going to be displayed on the screen. So, connect this here. Connect the iPhone as shown. As you can see, this mirrors the iPhone's display. So, let me scroll. That actually works. Now, we're going to try out HDMI with the iPhone. So, this is my Shogun monitor. So, I'm going to connect a HDMI connector from this monitor over to here and see if that also works. Now I'm using this dongle which has a USB-C to HDMI um, adapter. Connect that to the iPhone. And let me get a HDMI cable. So I'm going to connect this into the HDMI port on this dongle. Then connect this to the HDMI um, in for this monitor. And would we'll power this up. And yeah, it displays so I can scroll. I can scroll and see what's um, being displayed on this. So HDMI from any converter works on your iPhone. Now I'm gonna try something else, something more complex or complicated. But this is a converter which converts HDMI to SDI and also SDI to HDMI. So I'm gonna send um, signal from this iPhone, which is um, HDMI into this one as the end and try to get SDI out of this 
into the show gone and see if it's going to work with the iPhone too. So SDI out, HDMI in. I need to power this guy because the iPhone wouldn't give this guy enough power to do the conversion. So let's get a cable with power. And I'm going to connect it here. And let's change um, the input from the Shogun into SDI and see what happens. Yeah, it actually does work. So I have a Wacom tablet which I use for drawings and um, Photoshop work on my Mac and my PC. So I want to test this on the iPhone and see if this is something the device is going to recognize. Let's see if that works here too. So this is it and um, I'm going to connect it to this um, dongle which has type A. And let's see. Usually this should act as a mouse so it isn't working. This probably needs drivers to work, but I'm not sure we can get those for iOS. So yeah, we're out of luck. So there's this little podcast system we use with uh, mobile devices. I've used it extensively with Android devices. So I'm going to test it out here with the iPhone and try to do some recordings on the iPhone. Let's try it out. So I'm going to connect this into my iPhone. It has this pair of earphones, which you use for monitoring. So let's try it out. I'm going to open GarageBand on, um, my iPhone and let's power this on. I'm going to start recording. So this sound is being recorded using this podcast thing into my iPhone. You can hear claps, you can hear laugh and um, reverb my voice. So let's try something else. So the next device I'm going to test here with the iPhone 15 Pro Max USB-C port connection is going to be the um, Rodecaster Pro which is a device you use to record podcast. So I'm going to connect it using the USB-C connection here to the iPhone using the data cable I provided earlier. So here is the port and over to the iPhone. So what I'm going to do now is try to see if this headphone can recognize the um, sound interface and play back music through it. So, yep. So the iPhone recognizes this device as a sound interface to play um, music and sound through. And as you can clearly see here from the top camera, the audio coming out of my iPhone is playing through this channel here. This means you can connect two smartphones on the Rodecaster Pro. Normally, you'd have to connect a smartphone using Bluetooth to this device so you can use for a podcast. Let's say someone calls in your show and you want to route them through this device and record the call that comes in. You use the Bluetooth and this can be a second device, a secondary um, maybe playback machine to play music or something in the background using um, a different iPhone with a USB-C connection to the Rodecaster Pro. Here's the signal. Now that we know this works with um, the Rodecaster Pro, we're gonna try out the same thing with the Apogee Symphony desktop um, audio interface and see if it also recognizes that device. This is Apogee Symphony, which is another digital to analog converter or audio interface here. And I'm gonna see if the iPhone recognizes this device also. Let me get the headphones for this. Still using the USB-C cable. I'll connect this here, as we see. And um, let's connect this to the iPhone. It's actually playing back through here and here's the signal, as you can see. I can control the headphones from here. Then with this, you can connect a microphone into this device and record your guitars and all that. So let's go over to this part and see if it shows the name of um, this interface. Yeah, Symphony Desktop. Let's check some other devices we still have here. We have a lot of things to test out. So I'm gonna connect a pair of headphones that's USB-C. Let's see if data or sound can be transferred using USB-C ports to the USB-C connection on the headphone, if that makes any sense. These are the WH520s from Sony. So I'm gonna connect this here. To the iPhone. Let's see if audio is going to pass through to this guy. I'm actually assuming that this um, port is just for charge and not for connection or audio transfer. But let's let's try it out and see. I can't find it here, so I think this is just being charged. Let's try to turn this on too. It doesn't work. So this port is just for charging up this device and not. Um, um, audio transfer or data transfer. You can as well see the charging indicator up here. The thing is, if you have a pair of headphones that's um, a 3.5 millimeter jack ports like this, and you have a converter from Type-C to 
this port that would work and send audio over to the headphone and that's about that so let's test out some other devices here i'm going to be testing out a midi controller to see if i can produce music using the iphone 15 pro max so this is my midi controller it has a type b to type a um, connector so we're going to do a lot of conversions from type b which is going to be connected to the midi controller here we're going to connect this into this dongle that has a type a connection and from this dongle to a Type-C, which goes into the iPhone. And now I'm going to launch GarageBand to see if this can trigger MIDI in the door. So let's go. GarageBand. So I'm going to test out my MIDI controller here. I've launched GarageBand and let's create a new project. We're going to select drums here and try to see if this can control the drum using MIDI. So that works. Um, so let me just record something at random. Um, Yep, one, okay. That actually sounds nice. So let's move over to the next device here. I want to test a printer and see if I can connect a printer to the iPhone directly using the cable and if it's going to print from the printer without having to go through the network, which is Wi-Fi here or any other sorts. Let's try it out. So I have a printer connected to this dongle and from this dongle I've connected my iPhone. So I'm going to open pages on my iPhone and try to print something from pages. I don't need the internet so I'm going to turn this off, turn off the Wi-Fi and head over to files and um, documents, a blank page. Then try to share this document from here and click on print. Let's find out if it detects the printer. So I'm um, no printer selected. Looking for printer. Ouch. No AirPrint printers found. And no, I couldn't find any printer using the cable. But when I turn back over to my Wi Fi, because this printer is connected to my home network, I'll be able to find the same printer. Let me, let's just try it one more time. Yeah, it's here, but with the cable, you can't find the printer. I thought that was going to work actually. So that's about it. We've connected several devices to the iPhone 15 Pro Max using the USB-C connection here. And um, let me know which was your favorite here. And also, which other weird or strange tech have you connected to your iPhone 15 Pro Max? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys later. Kuidati.